so. Uh oh. All right, Rocky, we're Mike all Chase. for you, buddy. Mike Chase in his second appearance in this truck. PJ Jones is out. Mike Chase is in. It's not good when they're pushing your truck backwards and the rest of the field is coming down getting the one to go sign. And we can see all the water in his pit area. So they've been working on that car. It looks like something's been hot. It had to come from somewhere, didn't it? And I see that someone is running the back of the truck. Did this, did this just happen? But it happened before. Okay. Okay, so he had to have the truck push started and he came in. So uh reckon they did all that damage pushing it. Oh man, hold on. We Chase, better hustle uh, because they're going to throw the green in about a half lap. Whatever they're going to do, they better do it quick. Well, the interesting situation here is going to be Hornaday, I think. A little air pressure adjustment, and the other one is going to be Skinner. And that black three going by on the outside as you watch the field come streaming by. The lap trucks down on the inside. It was a major powwow at Skinner's place during the break, and they were not in a chit-chatty mood because they were having a hard time deciding between tight and loose when your car is both at the same time the chassis adjustment is a little difficult to figure out we're ready to get back at it ladies and gentlemen the green is out at Richmond International Raceway Ooh, and Hornaday's already on the inside Papo and takes the lead coming off two is Hornaday in the lead I reckon they got it right huh? I guess they did or Hornaday ain't waiting to find out if it's wrong man he's dove on the inside now they both this is the first time that we've seen a truck all night that is faster than his. Can he come back? He's been good on the restarts, too, and Hornaday knew it. And he jumped him when they went green. It was a beautiful pass going into turn one. Hornaday, the leader for the first time tonight. Bo Dine is all over him in second spot. There's Terry Labonte running third. He started off the pole. Working in third. Bo Dine trying to get under him. Trying, trying. He knows he needs to do it now as quick as he can because he looks in the mirror and here comes Labonte. Bit of a gap back to. Oh, they got a spin. Forty J. Rod in front of the field and, and the 34 beat Bree back his spun. To miss what he thought was going to be. What was it you said here a couple of weeks ago? He was trying to avoid the wreck and he became the wreck. Yeah. I thought that was your best line all year. They both got tangled. We'll see how it came about there. There is Breback getting back up to speed. Benny, see if you can spot him here. Let's see, he's the, he's the black truck, and he comes down, tries to get under someone. He turns right in front of the 11. That's Chad Little. They make contact, and right, and right here, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting real <laughs> nervous, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. stopped backing up yeah. just in time. When you are sideways, driver side facing the rest of the field, that is a scary moment. Fifth caution of the night. For Port and Gay, let's go to Marty Reed. Yeah, Mike Chase has got a big problem. When they had that contact, it cut the battery cable. That's what they're trying to fix. It's created an electrical problem. Just shut the truck off, and they are struggling to try and get this thing back into the contest. Uh, I was scared he was going to say it broke the battery, but thank goodness he said it cut the battery cable. The diehard folks will be very pleased about that. So we have a new leader here. Truck race Hornaday has led 10 races this season, including this one, and is a force to be reckoned with in terms of the championship. He is 94 points behind Skinner in the standings, and he is four positions ahead of Skinner tonight on the racetrack. And you can bet that Bodine will be all over him. He's got a little donut on the side of that 16. He worked it a little bit coming up through traffic. Well, I think he touched that seven truck, that Exide truck, that in turn one. I think they went like that. I guess we can't. I should have clapped in front of my microphone so the folks at home would know what I was talking about. <laughs> well, I got the picture. It smacked one another down in the corner. Yeah. Waltrip's fourth and having a pretty good go here. Well, he was 10th, I believe, in qualifying. So, after an action-packed restart, I'm going to set it back to green and see whether uh, Hornaday is as good as he appeared there. You know, as people get older, they all get trucks, and Darrell Walton's the same way. He gets a little older, got him a truck. And the truck is up six spots as we go green with Hornaday, the leader, for the first time. Let's see if he can hang on. Oh, the line on a tough break there. He's got a pass of 38 on the outside. Meanwhile, Hornaday said, I'll see you. Well, he's not going to pass on the outside either. Gonna wait for Swindell to slip up the racetrack, and Bodine's gonna go underneath him. Back oh, and Nemechek just kind of, just kind of knocked the 38 up out of the way. Darrell Walton, and there we see Skinner on the inside. Schrader. Skinner. Now look at Bodine. He had, look how easily that he caught the 16. He's gonna try it on the inside, and yes, Bodine back in front. Battle of the brakes 
goes to Bodine right at the spot where we commented that Hornaday had been so strong all evening. That might bode well for Bodine. And there we see Schrader on the inside taking a look. Couldn't make it. The 87, the silver truck, is John Nemechek. That's Joe's little brother. Rutman is the next truck behind him, and perhaps has not gotten dramatically better after the break. He's still at six or seven. seven. Started second, went backward quickly. Apparently has not gotten a lot better during the break. And is currently in seventh spot, though second in the point standings. He's trying to get on the inside of the 87. Oh, and the 24 drops fun and high. I thought they'd all missed it, but they didn't. That was a major hit, too. It was. And we see Butch Miller's, Miller's involved. Scott Lagasse got turned sideways on the back stretch and then got hit a ton. And there you see the damage to Miller. Looks like Butch is the guy that did all the, the most of the hitting. See them both moving around in there. That's good. Some pretty heavy damage to the Rebestos truck. Yeah, yeah. They got tangled big time. And then after Legacy got set, exactly what you were talking about here on the front straight with that scary moment when you know there are a lot of trucks coming and you're sideways in the racetrack. And that's how the front got ripped off the thing is Legacy. To Man, big hit after the what, fact. Go back over to the other truck, to the Legacy truck. What's that in the front? See Miller moving around in there. What's that stuck in the front of the 24 truck? Is that? Oh, that's the nose of the peel, truck. Peel the I thought it was off. rule. I thought it was roll bars out of something. But it's just it the looks grill. like it, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's just a grill piece out of this truck. Those are the headlights facing you, Benny. You yep. know you hurt your truck when it's facing the wrong direction. The headlights are still pointing at you. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. There we see Lags. He makes contact. He comes down and spins. The 30 truck goes on the inside, just misses him. And look at all that traffic behind that goes by with Sprague. Hey. Almost made it. And the Walker Evans comes along, hits him, and boom, into him goes the 98 of Butch Miller. Here's the impact from Walk Walker Evans. Oh, Pick Picked that man. truck right up off the ground. I'll tell you what, Scott Lagus' neck is going to be sore tomorrow. We'll see the gasoline coming out, so. Second wreck of the night for Butch Miller, who's had a frustrating evening. We had commented on how well he was doing under the circumstances. There's Butch out to take a look at it. Uh oh, he said, uh-oh. We heard it. Big blow for his championship hopes. He was fourth, 127 points out. And here is Scott Legacy in the Jeff Gordon look-alike costume, the road racer, who finds out just how tough oval racing can be here tonight. Man, that was a tough lick. Beat her up on both ends. It's about as hard as you want to get hit right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, camera, a stationary camera back coming off the turn two. Let's see if we can see what happens. There we see Legacy. He get touched there. It looked like he might have gotten touched by someone. He gets out of shape, and that started the spin. And then we'll continue on, and this is the spin. And he goes around, and Setzer, Setzer. does a big job, good job getting by. And the 25 truck looks like he's going straight towards him, and he, at the last instant, dodges. And Walker Evans, I think his view was blocked by the 25. He doesn't see him. Walker didn't see him. And banged into him in the 98. Looked like he was going on the inside, and all of a sudden that Walker Evans knocked the 24 truck right in the path of the 98 truck. That's only the second time this year that Butch Miller has failed to finish one of these things. Remember how we joked early that he was third every time? Hello, cutie. Nice to see the kids come out. Richmond International Raceway. We'll be right back.